In the last couple of weeks, we've been heavily linked with Real Madrid's James Rodriguez, and we've also now been linked with AS Roma's Raja Nangolan. And the third player to throw his name into the hat, thanks to the press, is AS Monaco playmaker Bernardo Silva. Reports from France from Canal Plus, a television network in France, are reporting that Man United are in advanced talks to sign the 22-year-old playmaker who has been the heartbeat of Monaco's breathtaking attack in football this season. Over 100 goals in the league, won their first league title in nearly two decades, got to the Champions League semi-final. You've got Bakayoko, who's a midfield destroyer. You've got Mbappe, who's been the shining light in attack. But Bernardo Silva's playmaking role in the right central midfield position has been the heartbeat of this Monaco team. And it's no surprise to see Man United are not only linked with him, but apparently in advanced talks, according to reports from France. The fact that Silva can stand out in a team that's boasting the likes of Mbappe, Bakayoko, Mendy, is a real testament to how influential Bernardo Silva has been since he joined Monaco. And with Man United struggling in attack, is Bernardo Silva the solution to our problems? And how good has he played this year? Now, Silva is a product of Benfica's Youth Academy. The 22-year-old joined Monaco after being on loan there for a season and impressing. And his numbers this season, they're nice. With 54 appearances in all competitions, with 10 goals and 10 assists, he has played a hell of a lot of football, which is important to say the least, especially with Man United having so many injury problems. So his phenomenal fitness record certainly is a tick in the box. But do Manchester United need a player like him? He's operated mainly as a right central midfielder this season as part of a midfield three. And I suppose it all depends on what sort of formation Jose Mourinho wants at Manchester United next year. Typically, he's used a 4-2-3-1 at Chelsea, Real Madrid, Porto. That, that was his formation. He hasn't really been using it that much at Manchester United this season. We've been playing mainly in a 4-3-3. But maybe we're going to switch to a 4-2-3-1. I, I don't know. Maybe... Bernardo Silva can slot into that team, but do you think that we need Bernardo Silva? And if we do need him, where does he fit into the team? And there are questions over whether he would suit the Premier League and whether he would suit United. Him being a small, diminutive playmaker in sort of the Spanish type role, there's immediately questions being asked about whether he can cope with the physicality of the Premier League. You know, your default questions asked about small players, basically. Doesn't mean that he couldn't make it, but it's clearly going to be an immediate concern for United fans if we are to sign him. But he is Portuguese. Could he be Jose Mourinho's first Portuguese signing? As I said, the talent is there. It is obvious. He's only 22. He's got lots of football to play. And Man United do need some sort of creative spark in attack. Or do we just need a clinical finisher? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you rather see us sign Bernardo Silva or does James Rodriguez or Raja Nongolan? Do they suit us more? It's not even the summer yet and we're getting linked with basically everybody. We're trying to cover it all for you and want to hear your thoughts on whether you think Bernardo Silva will be a good signing for Man United.